The Wald Lake Central Performing Arts presents A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare, December 3, 4, and 5 at 7.30 p.m. in Wald Lake Central Auditorium. A Midsummer Night's Dream is one of Shakespeare's most accessible shows. And when I mean accessible, I mean that um, the language is not such that it's going to get in way of someone's enjoying this. One of my goals as an educator is to make sure that the kids know what they're saying. Anytime we act, whether it's Shakespeare or not, you, your actors must know what it is they're trying to communicate to the other characters on stage. If they know what they're trying to communicate to the other actors on stage and they use their nonverbal vocal expressions and their body, then there is no chance that the audience won't understand. So as long as they know the story they're telling, then the audience will get it. Uh, this is a very fun story. It takes place on Midsummer, hence the name, when the veil between the fairy world and the mortal world is at its thinnest. And so the fairies tend to play some tricks on some of the mortals. And um, this is where you get the wonderful line, oh, what fools these mortals be, which I think is one of the most famous Shakespeare lines around. And uh, it comes from this play. Um, also in this play is the course of true love never did run smooth. And that's another very, very famous line. And that's because the um, young mortal uh, lovers who are in love with each other, they don't get to be with each other easily. And so upon escaping to the woods, um, the king of the fairies messes with them. Puck, who's also known as Robin Goodfellow, messes with them. But of course, eventually, because this is a comedy, everything works out to the best and everybody ends up with who they're supposed to end up with. First rehearsals are spent going over their dialogue and what does it mean. Now, here's the thing. Not every piece of Shakespeare language is going to be understood even by all the experts because language changes. It's a living thing. So. Um, we have to do the best we can and we resort to all the tools that are out there with us. Uh, one, our brain. Two, we have lexicon slash glossaries. Um, we have modern translations and we look to those to make sure that the kids really understand. Um, that way the audience is going to understand. Well, one of the things that's really important to me as a theater educator is that the kids understand the whole process. Um, yes, I have some parent help, um, but I don't rely on it. And in fact, this year, everything you do see, um, except for a little bit of painting when some, uh, a couple of moms came in to help prime, um, this has uh, really been done by the students themselves, uh, particularly the stagecraft class. And um, the costumes that the kids are doing, I don't have a costume mom right now. And um, so the kids, uh, with obviously with help from me, they have been putting together, and I do this a lot anyway for most of my shows, they put together their costumes based on what I tell them and the color, color schemes to look for. But that gives them some character choice as well um, while we're working on it. Because um, I really believe in the concept of educational theater, that if they can learn to do it now, they can, if not take it out and continue to do it, uh, they'll be appreciative of those who have made it a vocation. Maybe it'll be an avocation, I hope for them. But they'll be our supporters. I'm really looking forward to seeing the kids finally get it, bringing it all together, um, and just having a sense of pride in what they're doing. Um, I can only take it so far. I'm not the one on stage. They're the ones that have to do it. And so, um, again, their sense of accomplishment is always wonderful. The kids that thought, oh, I can't do Shakespeare, find out, yeah, I can. I can do this. It's awesome. Everything you see, every piece of wood, costume, piece of paint, paintbrush, screw, nail, staple, is all purchased out of ticket money. Last year's play, Servant, provides the money for this play. This year's play will provide for next year, and that's true for my sister schools as well. So anytime the community can support us um, with their presence and their dollars, they're supporting kids who are finding themselves on stage. So we really appreciate that. Wild Lake Central presents Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, December 3, 
4 and 5 at 7.30 p.m. in Wild Lake Central's auditorium. Tickets are on sale now. Uh, you can purchase them online at wlcstickets.com or by calling our box office 248-956-4980. And tickets are $10 for adults, $9 for senior citizens and students. This is an awesome show. If you've never seen Shakespeare before, this is an awesome one to get introduced to it. We really want you to come out. The kids are very proud of what they're doing. Please support us. Uh, we have a great community in here in Wald Lake, and we hope you're part of that.